I'm Manuel Yawapia, the president of the Ghana Physician Assistance Association. The physician assistant is a well-trained person from a recognized institution and licensed by a regulatory body to practice medicine and dentistry. Yes, it's enjoyable being a physician assistant in Ghana because you as a physician assistant who have been licensed to practice medicine and dentistry, you are found in the sub-district, the districts, the regional level and even some places at the national hospital level. It is comparable to clinical officers, medical assistants, health extension officers, as some other countries might name it. Um, the clinical officers are most of them found in the eastern part of Africa and then some other areas. But the point is that getting all these two, getting all these multi-million names, it really creates confusion in the eyes of people. Yeah, it's very important that all these people with the same name or different names who fall under the same category who have to come together like we are doing now, Gakopa, okay? If we say we are going to even extend the name, we may not even have the name Gakopa because Gakopa is really covering the clinical officers and the PAs, okay? Other people will say, I am Emmy, so my name should be added, it will be Gakopa Ma and all other. But the most important thing is that all have been grouped to be called Gakopa. So that we are going to use that Gakopa to make sure that our name is harmonized. And then WHO must also come in to come and help us because of different regulatory bodies in the different countries. When we are talking about names, you know, they come in. So we hope that WHO come in using our global association, that's Gakopa, I think things are going to work for us. What motivated me to come, and I have to even assure you that I didn't come alone, I came with a team. And we came purposely because of the PA's cry in Ghana. And the more motivated me much more, or the group much more, is the primary aim of Gakopa. To try and then push so that we can have a common name and then common, common curriculum. That is what motivates us to come. So in fact, if that particular aim is not achieved, it will be a disappointment. Physio assistant looking at the health, health center, in fact, we are those carrying about 80% of the primary health care in Ghana. Because if you find where we are, if you look at where we are found, like the sub-district, the districts, and that kind of the Ghana, the population is most often centered in the sub-district area. And then the district area where we have most of our people over there. So the clinic, uh, the physician assistants in Ghana are really doing well in Ghana. And it's across the whole country. And that is the one thing we can say is a plus to physical assistance over there. If you look at Ghana, for instance, when we look at it critically, critically, we can say that the physical assistant even covers about 70% of the workforce. Because if you take the nurses, who are the majority in the country, the next workforce in health is the physician assistant. This is what we are fighting for. At the moment, we don't have anything that we call specialty over there or subspecialty, and this is what we are fighting for. In fact, there was a time dermatology, psychiatry came into play, but we don't know what happened, and then they push it away again. Recently, they want to bring it back, and instead of it to be a subspecialty, they are rather upgrading the people as a degree program, which we are not very much happy about. And it's all because we want our regulatory body to also champion this thing, and then the Minister of Health as well. And so this is what we are pushing. We want to make sure that we have our sub-specialties like you go to India, they have it. You go to Kenya, they have it. And Kenya, Kenya, India, and where other places, America, who have these sub-specialties that people are trying to specialize with. It's not different from the people also in Ghana. We must also have our sub-specialties so that we can have a clear career progression. It is very important that even the West Africa as a region copy from East Africa because this is the closest place so the question is that what are other people doing you look at your environment what are they doing which is good that you can also emulate so me I'm of the view that West Africa in particular must copy from East Africa they are doing very good as the president of the association we have to go into talk we have to go into talk because this EMTC you're talking about, we are aware that the registrar was part of it. He went to Turkey, Istanbul, to also participate in this program. So I'm sure when we move there and we enter to talk with him, things will normalize. 
once we have started in this small way, we are praying that it should grow big. And then all of us, the countries who have come on board now, should fully participate in GACOPA and also encourage other countries to also come on board. I'm talking about PAs, clinical officers, and all those people who are at the same level. We should all understand and come together so that we can fight a common goal.